Now, this is a pain to get this thing in properly. As you can see, it's connected with four bolts for the i7 processor. But what it doesn't explain very well in instructions, it says only one way for the back plate to go. And I've actually gone and put this on the wrong way around. Uh, so I'm going to have to take it off. When you pull the machine over, you'll see the back plate. Now it might seem obvious where this needs to go, but when we put it on and when we check the internet, it's actually on the wrong way around. The cutout needs to go on the back, where the two screws are on the small motherboard plate. So this plate is actually attached to the motherboard. There's two screws at the back of the plate. And this part is meant to go around the screws. So I'm just going to change it. Right, just a little more on this. I've taken off the pump. The pump's down here. And you can see what the thermal paste wasn't making good contact on there on the left. Now if I had to turn this on, that would have been overheating the chip straight away. What we're going to do now is take the little back plate off, unscrewed the standoffs. Now the standoffs you need for the i7 or the Intel chips are the ones with the longer side screws. So each side has long screws. The other ones you get in the pack have got one long side and one short side. And apparently they're for the AMD chip, but obviously we're doing the Intel chip. Right, turn the machine over. And this clamp comes out quite easily. You don't want to scratch the motherboard. And it's got the plastic on it here which stops it from touching the motherboard and fusing it. You've got the little connectors what go through the holes. When you first get this, the connectors might not fit through the holes, but they're actually adjustable. They slide from side to side, so you can slide them and make them adjustable. Now on this side, with the cutout, it's going to be turned round, and I'm going to put them over the screw holes there. Now you can see the screws and the clamp is going to go through the small holes as well. Right, now I've got the plate back on the back and I've got the standoff screws. If you can see this, all the four corners. Now, it's a bit loose. But when you screw the pump back onto it it should be actually it should be then firm and strong connection at the minute it does look too loose like a lot of people have been saying about this right then we've got four securing bolts back on um, do it in a crisscross motion so you screw that one and that one and that one then that one until they're all tight, and then just finish them off with a slight twist of a screwdriver. Right now, the pump's back on, and um, it's properly aligned, it's properly flush to it, and as you can see, it doesn't wobble about. You can move the whole case by it now. And the back plate doesn't wobble about either because it's been pulled up from here in all four corners to meet with the pump. So that's the Corsair H60, and that is why people are probably having trouble with it, because it's, this isn't lined up properly. And hope that helps anybody trying to do this bit.